Hello, everybody. It's Teresa. I did a mini haul at Buy Mart. I know grocery hauls are impressive when they're just like a zillion dollars worth of stuff. I don't do that. I look at what I need or if I find a good bargain. A lot of this is bargain today. So I had to walk into Buy Mart to look for a few things. And I'm going to turn the camera around and show you what we have. Okay, first off, I'm sitting on the floor, so this is awkward. I have a pressure cooker canner, so parts will run out, so I got myself a second ceiling ring and an automatic air vent. Now, any company or product, nobody is uh, sponsoring my videos. Also, if you like what you're seeing, subscribe, hit like, make comments about what you'd like to see uh, from me in the future. I will be adding a cooking video tonight because I'm going to be doing some cooking and figured that would be fun. But I wanted to do a little bit of a haul to show uh, Teresa Isaacs, who had asked for it earlier. It's, it's not a huge haul, but a lot of this is clearanced items, not completely clearanced. Uh, Buy Mart is an awesome store. It's in the Pacific Northwest. And it has a little bit of everything, and I love it for that. It has a nice hunting, fishing section, really good for canning supplies. And the first thing I got, I look for these. This is, that's the area this map is for. It is a game management unit map. And it's down to 677. So I got that, and one for, ah, there we go, uh, Kino. I guess that's the area. It's not really a... Yeah, I guess that's it, because I'm looking... Let you look at this. Okay, it's the areas, because I'm like, there's the Willamette, and that's that's where I am. <laughs> About right there. So, uh, also found all of their winter supplies on sale. So I scored a flannel shirt and two sets of thermal underwear, half off, which is awesome. Because, and that's actually really cute. Uh, there, there's already clearancing things out that are camping and such. So I turned a corner, found a rack, a stainless steel flask. It was down from, oh, well, I can't see that. 10 something to 769. This would be helpful to carry certain things, not just alcohol. I think it'd be a good way to carry some extra fuel. I'll have to research it and find out uh, if it's safe to do that. If anybody knows if it's safe to carry, um, I know not propane, but maybe alcohol, hydrogen peroxide, anybody medical field that might have used that for those uh, purposes, write in the comments, let me know. Or if anybody just has gone, heck yeah, we put this, that, and the other thing. Yeah, I know whiskey can go into it too, but... I don't think it has a, a funnel would have been nice. I got two of those. I also found itty bitty first aid kits. There's not a lot in there, but it was $5.99 and I do like to have first aid kits wherever I can go. I'm quite uh, accident prone. I'm trying to, come on, actually got quite a bit in there. So I got two of those. I'm going to kind of speed up because I don't want to bore you guys to tears and focus. I did get a Flint and Striker, reasonably priced at $3.19. This I thought, <laughs> I'm going to laugh myself silly. I truly thought this was a uh, windproof matches container. Turns out it's a survival horn and it will uh, animal alert. Frightens off unfriendly animals. Uh, no compressed air batteries. Eco-friendly. I'm, um... Yeah, I'm not going to use it. <laughs> not right now. I was tempted to. Uh, also, on that clearance shelf were some stretchy cords that are 30 inch. And they're like a buck and a half. Two bucks, so, yes. I also got a pack of original jerky seasoning... I picked up, sorry, I picked up a jer uh, jersey, a jerky gun, 
If I said Jersey seasoning, I'm sorry. I picked up a jerky gun the other day, and I'm going to try and do some ground beef jerky in my dehydrator. And I just figured these seasonings would be like salt and pepper, basic flavor. I also got some masks, and Bob's Red Mill has some soup mixes that are fairly inexpensive. I mean, it's four bucks for a pound, pound 12 ounces. And, you know, it's it's a good idea. You could add a can of soup. Um, you could add a can of broth to it. You could add a can of any kind of meat to it, thicken it up, and have a meal. So I thought those would be fun to try out. Those are not the recipe I'm trying out tonight, though. Also, I seem to have managed to get a the new Oregon Game Bird book. Uh, like I said, they have a hunting section. That's where you can get fishing licenses, fishing licenses, and etc. So they always have these here, which I love being able to reference. And so those were free. I also got a birthday card. I'm not showing it to you just in case the person it's for might actually see this video. And Oh, and something about snow parks. They, there's a lot of good information put out by Oregon at, with certain things, and I'd never seen this, so I'm going to, you know, have fun looking at that. That's going into more of my paper information in case stuff hits the fan. So that is my, my haul. And uh, if you have any questions, any comments, feel free to put the, post them below. Uh, Trace Isaacs, this is for you. It's the best I can do right now. Uh, like, subscribe. Let me know what you'd like to see or not like to see. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.